The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Avard, your host, and today I am joined with Danielle Beaulieu. 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 Doesn't and, matter. Well, doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> yes. welcome to the show. Thanks. And or welcome back to the show. Uh, for for the, some of my guests, uh, you were on not too long ago with the cosplays. Yeah. And uh, I think we had three the three of you on. We had Sonia. Um, Nick. Nick. He was the tree. Yeah. And you were the one in the blue. Yeah, I was the gem knight. The Gem Knight. <laughs> and it was, it was an interesting, it was my first time ever experiencing anything with, with cosplay. I, I knew nothing about it, and uh, it intrigued me. And the reason I asked you back on the show was because I discovered in our conversation that you're an artist. Yes. And then I looked at some of your art, and I thought, oh, you're, you're not an artist. You're a good artist. You're, your work is really good. And we're going to show some of the pictures through, through our, our, our conversation. How long have you been doing art? My entire life. All right. Uh, my dad used to draw, and I would just watch him, and I just picked it up when I was really young. Is, is he an artist? Does he do it commercially? He's an artist, but he doesn't like sell art or anything. Mm -hmm. He's just good at it. And so you picked it up, and uh, so I saw some pictures of puppies. I saw some pictures. Uh, are those your dogs? or? No, those are people email me pictures of their pets, and I draw it for them, and then I mail it to them. Really? Yeah. So, uh, okay, and do you ever do, uh, like, stands out in, like, in carnivals or something like that where, you know? Like you caricatures? Could, yeah. I've never done that, no. Yeah. But, well, it seems like your art is a little bit more detailed. I mean, you, you, like, capture the spirit of, of the picture. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, you also do it, it's all freehand. You, you're not, you've also created your own pictures? Some yeah. Of, I've, like, done my own fantasy pictures Whenever time I feel inspired. Yeah, there was like a little blue thing. Uh, it looked like, uh, I don't know what it was. Uh, oh, the fish. The fish. Uh, that, that was a, actually a piece of fan art from a game that I used to play when I was younger. Okay. And, and how did, uh, you, you're always into art and you're, you're drawing pictures. And that, is that what drew your interest into cosplay? I would say that my dad like triggered my interest for art and costume making. Mm. Like, when I was a kid, it wasn't called cosplay. It was just called costume making. And he used to, every year, like, make really big Halloween costumes. So he was pretty artistic, and I think I picked everything up from him. I seen a show recently uh, where they actually compete to draw, do faces and stuff Face like that. Face off. Face off. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something that you were, you'd be interested in? Yeah, because I'm pretty into, like, prosthetics and latex that on... I mean, they really paint. get into it. I mean, they, they, they make some pretty interesting, uh, almost scientific, that they're, they have to know the chemicals and how mm -hmm. it's going to react to heat. Uh, it, and then you have to be creative on top of that. Yeah. Uh, that's something that you would, that's right up your alley. Yeah. <laughs> that's something, like, I do it to myself. I bet I would be able to do it to, some, to somebody else. That's interesting. Now, on Facebook, you have about 10,000 followers. Just about, yeah. Just about, and that has to do with the cosplay. You're not just the, that one character. You're a couple of characters. Yeah. From what I understand. Now, do you help uh, with other people with their costumes as well? I help my fiancé with his. But he's recently started making his own. And he doesn't want my help anymore so that I can't take the credit. Nick. Yes. Nick the tree. The well, tree. <laughs> well, I shouldn't. Nick, Nick is very nice to, to come on the show and, and stand there for a half hour. And, he's used to it. Yeah. So he has to, is he other people too? I mean, he must be. Uh, yeah, he actually has done the same character, Tarek, the knight that I was. He did the male version. 
before I did it. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of stole it from him, and I obviously looked way better. Wow. <laughs> um, so on Facebook, uh, if, if somebody wanted to learn uh, a little bit about cosplay, they could go to your Facebook page, it, and it's what, Danielle? Facebook.com slash Danielle's Cosplay. Okay. And if they wanted to learn uh, how to get in touch with you, they can con contact you through that Facebook page if they wanted to get some of your art or if they wanted to commission you uh, to do yeah, some artwork. They can just message me right on the page. Okay. What is the biggest scale of art that you've done? Have you done a mural at all? Or? Uh, I'm, I've been working on a mural for a couple of years on and off. It's like a big portrait of horses. Or I wouldn't say portrait. Is like it a in a mall or something? or is it No, a... it's currently in my closet, but it's like the size of the closet. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you, do you plan on selling it or is it? Uh... It's supposed to be for my cousin as a gift. So I kind of haven't spent too much time on it because it's free and it's huge and it's so time consuming. Right. And uh, these are acrylic arts or oil? Or... It was acrylic, yeah. Yeah. And so you're comfortable with that, with... with layering it and, and and so it's not just chalk it's not just pencil you do acrylic do you do oils I don't do oils I do mostly digital now on Photoshop okay but you, that's not to take away from the fact that you can do stuff freehand right? well even on on Photoshop it's freehand I have my little tablet tool it's like a square and I have my tablet pen and I draw and it shows up on the it's like painting but Digital. It's easier to erase your mistakes. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, okay, I learned something new today. So you can actually draw on a tablet, and it, that's, that's interesting. What's some of the most challenging stuff that you've, you've uh, had to draw? To draw? Or, or paint or create? I would say horses. Horses are pretty tough. Really? Just like their anatomy. Some people say that the hand is, is, a, is a hard thing to to draw? The hand's sort of annoying to do, but it's not too bad because, I mean, you can just look and, and there's your reference right there. Right. <laughs> now, well, looking at some of Leonardo da Vinci's, you know, uh, material, you, you look at, he captures the veins in the hands and it, it just it looks so lifelike. Uh, but you can do that, that type of stuff. Uh, have you ever done any uh, Paintings on, uh, on in businesses or on, on like glass windows or I did a window when I was in high school, mm -hmm. but it was a very cartoon drawing. Right. Uh, it was for a school project. Right. But yeah, when people look at some of your photos, they're going to say, "Well, you're way beyond cartoons. You're way beyond the high school level. That's that's real art." Uh, I'm just wondering how to tap into that a little bit more for you to get, reach out to other people or have them get in contact with you to maybe do it on a, a grander scale, so to speak, uh, for commercially. Is, is, has that been something that you've ever thought about? It's something I would think about for the future, but I mean, right now I have so many commissions just like waiting in line. Oh, you do? Line. Really? And, and how did they get in touch with you? Was it through references? Just social media. Really? You can do a lot with social media. And my grandparents are like, you shouldn't trust sites like Facebook, and you can't ever find success and stuff like that. But a lot of people do, and it's been working for me. Right. Well, it seems like there's a lot of d different engines out there. There's, there's Dig It. There's there's Stumbled Upon. There's Facebook. There's Twitter. There's all different kinds of media where everybody's using it to mm -hmm. uh, to market there, uh, because you can't get you can't go knocking on every door. It's just impossible. Yeah. So it, it's worked for you, though. That's interesting. And it, it it's through the same Facebook page. Yeah, just my cosplay page and my art page. I kind of keep them separate because they both have, like, a different follower base. Right. How, much do you, how many followers do you have on your art page? Like 200. 200. <laughs> right. Okay. So you want to build that one up a little bit more then? Well, I don't advertise that one as much because when I do commissions, I kind of like doing cosplay commissions because I have fun while I do it, too. Right, and then it's not work. Yeah. Right. Interesting. Have you ever started a project and said, hey, you know what, uh, this... Pretty much all my projects. Yeah. <laughs> like, why am I doing this? This is awful. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Uh, do you, are you going to become a new creature 
in the near future or on cosplay, or are you going to stay the same one? My next one's not going to be a creature. It's going to be more human-like. Okay. So. Any uh, hints? Well, it's going to be Jace from League of Legends, which you probably don't know who I that is. I have no idea. He's that's got fine. a mace that's taller than I am, and uh, like a leather vest. He's not very creature-like. Interesting. And are you still playing the game? Uh, I have not even been able to play because of all the art I've been doing. Really? Yeah. Well, that's good. That's you're you're, you're busy. Mm -hmm. Now, does Nick? Does he? Uh, is he out for hire? Is making uniforms for people or? Uh... I don't think so because he works a lot, like full time, at his job, and then when he comes home, he just wants to do his own costume. Right. So he's doing it just for the love of the. Uh, the hobby. The hobby. Yeah. Uh, is it growing in in this area? Are a lot more people getting involved? Every year, it's just blowing up um, videos on YouTube about cosplay have millions and millions of views and hundreds and thousands of followers. It's really popular right now. Like, it's on TV and everything on sci-fi. I was just going to ask you recently. Uh, they, you know, you're seeing the commercials cosplay. Is that a full, uh, an accurate representation of what's what's actually going on there, or? I wouldn't say that Heroes of Cosplay is an accurate representation because it's reality TV mm -hmm. and they just want to play up the drama to get the ratings. Right. Um, it doesn't really show you how to cosplay or how to build something or the craftsmanship that goes into it. It's just the drama. Right. And there, there are a lot of competitions in just building the, these, these uh, uh, I, don't, I keep calling them uniforms, but what are they? The outfits? What are they? Costumes. Costumes. Yeah. Cosplays. Co yeah. I mean, whatever you want to call them is right. correct. And people really get into it and very, very competitive. Now, doing some Googling, you're on a, another one, a, another YouTube where you're swinging the hammer into the yes. bubbles or something MLZ like that. MLZ Studios video where I'm attacking the bubbles. Did you win? That's. I, I mean, didn't fun. enter competition at Oticon, but uh, I mean, I had fun there. Right. I usually don't like entering the competitions because I feel like you can't really judge somebody in a full suit of armor next to somebody in like an embroidered gown or something. It's not the uh, apples and oranges. Yeah, right. you can't really compare the two. I think that's just my opinion. Yeah, it does. That makes sense. Um, it, it's like actually going to a, a dog show. Mm -hmm. I've never understood how that. You know, well, you've got the German Shepherd, you've got the Poodles, and you've got every different breed. Yeah. And the Poodle wins. Poodle always wins. And, you know, <laughs> and wait a minute. Okay, you like Poodles, all right? So that's not fair. If they were all poodles, then you could judge the best poodle. That, that's kind of what you're getting. Yeah. At. I agree. So if it was like all Tarek, then we would pick the best Tarek. But, you know, it's we've got nine-foot robots. We've got tree people. We've got girls in dresses. Does anybody ever do any of the Lord of the Rings stuff? Oh, there's tons of Lord of the Rings stuff. Really? That's one of the more popular ones. Okay. That's, that's actually my favorite. I actually have <laughs> to watch it maybe five or six times You should cosplay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Now, who would I be? Treebeard? Mm. No, that's probably already taken. I could make it for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all set. That, that, <laughs> I've got enough on my plate. Um, but again, uh, what is the name of your website for your art? Or the, the, um, the Facebook page? Oh, it's facebook.com slash artbydanielle. Okay. I think. <laughs> okay, and the, the cosplay one is? Facebook.com slash Danielle Cosplay. Great. And is it open to people to just join or, or like? or? Yeah, you just like it, and then you'll get all the updates. And you message me, and I'll message back. I always reply. To 10,000 people? It's really hard to, but, I mean, it might take a week for me to get back to some people, but I do. I get back. That's funny. What, do you get a lot of conversations going back and forth? Yeah. It's not always about cosplay, but I, I try to prioritize the ones that need my help. Right. Rather than ones that just want to talk to me. Yeah. And get to know me. Do you travel to, to help people out? Do you do? I mean, you, do you go beyond the Boston area. Do you? How do you? How does that work? Um, when I'm helping people, I usually just like guide them through tutorials online mm. and send them YouTube videos and stuff. I don't. I haven't really gone out to help people. Have you made a YouTube video on, on instructions? Not yet. Yeah. Is that that sounds like it's something that might be in the future though, right? Maybe eventually, but there's already so many out there. I feel like I might be wasting my time. Right. Well, yeah. If you're good at it, though, and, and uh, have you ever thought of creating your own creature? That that uh, all these all these creatures or all these costumes are 
are based on something. Yeah, I don't, I've never thought of making my own as for a cosplay, but I mean, I draw my own creatures sometimes. Interesting. You, you know, I, I was wondering, do you, these, these guys that, that make these, uh, these video games, they have to have artists. Has that been something that, that would uh, you be attracted to, doing artwork for some of these games? When I was younger, that's what I wanted to do, was be a concept designer, like a, a character designer for video games. But I mean, every artist today wants to do that. Right. So it's really hard to get into. And I think you got the talent for that. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that, uh, it looks like you do anyway. Uh, but again, it, it turns into work, or, or is it fun? It's fun, I think. Uh, right now, I'm actually going to be drawing cartoon posters of my cosplay friends. Uh, I started with my friend Pazubi. Like, did you see the mermaid picture that I sent you? Yes. Uh, that's not done yet, but I'm going to be making posters based on the video game characters that they're cosplaying. So it's cosplay and video games, and hopefully I'll be selling those prints. Good. And, and, and they can buy them through the Facebook? Or? Yeah, on my Facebook page is a store envy. Oh, cool. But there's not much in it right now, just pictures of my tarot costume. Right. So, but the people can purchase items through, through your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't know they could do that. Yeah. I, I'm learning Facebook a lot from Facebook is awesome. Really? Yeah. I didn't know you could sell stuff through Facebook. Well, it's through store envy, but you put the app on Facebook. Okay. My, my little, uh, my engine's going. So I want to thank you for coming on the show. And as we're, you know, we're talking, obviously, some of the, the videos or the, the pictures are going to be popping up as, uh, as we're talking. Uh, I wish you the best, and I hope uh, that you can increase uh, your artwork out and have it visible out there. Thanks. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching Gate City Chronicles, and thank you, Danielle, for coming on the show, uh, cosplayer. But friend her on Facebook and see some of her artwork. It really is very good. Um, and if you want to hire her for, for some artwork, you want to have her do a portrait, uh, maybe a contractor, I think you'll be very well impressed. So until next week, thanks for watching Gate City Chronicles. Thank you for watching Gate City Chronicles. And we want to thank our sponsor, Aardvark Dean of Clean, the carpet cleaner in Nashua. You can reach them at 603-630-1743. And if you would like some more information about Gate City Chronicles or want to be a guest, contact me at gatecitychronicles at gmail.com. Until next week, thanks for watching. Seating program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.